I introduce Dr. Perry Clave. Dr. Clave is the president of the European Society of Swallowing Disorders and the director of research at Mataro Hospital. And you still see patients at Mataro yeah. Hospital as well. Dr. Clave, can you tell us about your presentations, please? Okay, yeah. I had the opportunity to present three pieces of information. The first one deals about the physiology of the swallow response and the specific impairment of this physiology in different phenotypes of patients. The second one focuses on the VVST. As you know, this is a test for clinical assessment of pharyngeal dysphagia. And they had the opportunity to explain the methodology of the test mm -hmm. and also to present our studies, our validation studies showing the high accuracy of this clinical tool that allows to uh, establish a clinical diagnosis of pharyngeal dysphagia. Finally, I had also the opportunity to present uh, data supporting oropharyngeal dysphagia is a genetic syndrome that is linked to many complications such as malnutrition and aspiration pneumonia and we have discussed the elements of our equation mm -hmm. including poor oral health, malnutrition and aspiration as the formula to, to develop an aspiration pneumonia. Mm -hmm. Dr. Clave, can you tell us about your research interests in dysphagia at well, the moment? We are now um, focusing on uh, on the afferent side, that means that how sensitivity and perception can modulate the motor response. Mm -hmm. And we are now developing methods to study not only the swallow response at the motor side, but also to measure how the brain manages this response and how the brain is activated by different stimuli in the afferent area. We have a very nice and new methodology and we know that one of the elements that also play an important role in the pathophysiology of the disease is the impaired perception that present most of the patients with oropharyngeal dysphagia. So we have developing new, if you wish, drugs to treat this impaired swallow response and we have very nice results in this area. Wonderful. How do you think the research you're doing on the sensory side of things will affect patients with dysphagia, how, how important is it to them? Well, we are just trying to achieve a dream that is to develop a drug to treat oropharyngeal dysphagia. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have identified several targets in the oropharynx. We are now developing uh, products to reach these targets and measuring the effect of this activation on perception, on brain activity mm -hmm. and on swallow response. Wonderful, thank you.